you missed the properly this time, did you? You little paddy bastard, you thieving in the cabin. He's got to go wrong with us. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said you was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. You keep on talking to me, Harris. But I've been demonstrating to you all the world to black. What's up, boys? Fuck off, boy. This is going to consume you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy Look here. This panty bastard stole our gun. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the map. I never saw nothing, sir. Never did nothing on your life. That French cunt is playing with the Westman's tiny and ineffective mind. Anyway, y'all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave them be. Who do you think you are, boy The bloody cavalry? The voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. This is what happens when you poke your nose. Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you helped me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking the finer qualities of a gentleman. What about the gun? It would be my pleasure. She's magnificent, government issue. It would be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Follow me, fella. Alrighty, we gotta get in for this way. This is turning into a hell of a day. What's your name, friend? John. John Morrison. Come on, you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk the other friend there for a second. Who are those fine specimens of humanity? They must be the only friends in the world. The poor man left to see them after sin. We all met on the board over a few years back. What are you doing back there? Oh, oh God! Take it in there, Spencer. That's right there. What's the problem? Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman. He called me. And he got his scoop. Let's go. Let's go, Johnny. Let's go. 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 Let's go
My apologies, mister. Machine gun, Irish. Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I found one. Uh, found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? No, friend. I want to buy you a drink. I want to tell you how much she means to me, how special he is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, 
You'll, You'll wish you'd been, been killed, killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe. This isn't as can be. It makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Come on, Ned. We're gonna find your precious wood. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, look me face this we're going to pass out on me, all yours. <laughs> me? No, I'm right this raid. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between air and meddling. Well, you're going to be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It's words like that, dog. The intentions were pure. I swear it on me, poor mother's life. I just get the time confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners in Blab and about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down to mine in all the night. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you were more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not far now, Johnny. We should go around the side of the gap to so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always spiky bastards. Spend too long without daylight and dogs and it starts playing with your minds. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Oh, they tell you what I heard? Oh, and we need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That one's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment. Get the lie of the land. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft the ambassador used to haul out any ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it on myself, but the mines play havoc with these sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you the mouth of my shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You must be lost, cowboy. This is a private property. Open fire! <laughs> to the victor, the sport.
slip! Load up and I'll engage the gears! Thieves landing! I will get some sleep, Mister. I didn't get 
up, sister. Put them up. Iris, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, Hunger! Blimey! I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two legs. Now get out of there! Oh, oh, oh Mr. Marston. Uh, how are you? A shame. A shame to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlemen with the ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon Drake. At least I hope he has. He wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah, come on. I know where we can find the parts for you. Ah, mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? I don't think that's a good idea. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Huh? I can't seem to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? Drunk as I am, my pritcher and fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like Dude, that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ! The church has more money than anybody. Easy, friend. Don't go getting off this. Where are we going, Irish? No, friend, Just to the warehouse here hey, at Steve's Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. Down, We're meeting this child of mine at the back door of the office. Hubble comes, feller, by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're going to be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. All right, we're here. Stay close. Damn it! That stuttering bastard said this would be open. Oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably waiting for us there. to take your soft on me, Johnny boy. I can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drift. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. All right, we should be able to get in here. Stick with me and keep quiet. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all you have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my head! <laughs> Oh! Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly... At an old time, hi. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. 
I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. Even. Off even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. Mori d d d 
dirty fucking snake. All right, gentlemen. Let's go. Fucking fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. All right, hop on. I'll get us out of here. Come on, time we was making tracks. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you.
John? Marshal? Gentlemen! <clears throat> uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Escunce yourself from the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on. Let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth has been enough to let us down. Once we're inside and I lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales pattern, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves won't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. Good men. <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can 
keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! Gentlemen, let the end of the That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You've got sense of urgency here, please! Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Oh well, get the, the goddamn hell? gate open and lock it behind him! Gentlemen, these scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them.
hold on. Oh, hold on. I Marston. Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already went off to Mexico yesterday morning. You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. We're in Mexico. How should I know? Oh! We're in Mexico, you little shit! <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. That's <laughs> bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa! Well, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. And just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with a love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal? All right, boys. That's enough. Thank you.
yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on the raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax, we'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey, well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, uh, London, or Paris, or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, we conveniently missed all the action at Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of pits, and it's as you mattered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. Look out, bandits! Irish. Oh, my good lord! I see that money there in slab! Guess I thought up the more mischief than I remember. We'll find your river out. No more trying to land. We're away from these bastards. Hey, there's more ammunition in the box in the back of the raft. I simply can't afford all your problems. Oh! 
me killed. I thought you said they love you over here. They do. The, the, the lassies do. Oh, their big brown eyes turn stone into water, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. Of that okay? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato. The cat. What if I'm going to be funny? I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language. Why don't you try, Marston? <laughs> There's more fools behind that rock! I'd give up now if I was you!
provincial governor, uh, kind of something or other, some Spanish name. He's based on Escalera. I uh, played three-card stud with him. Or was it four-card Monty? I forget. Hey, he was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You got to be on your way. Hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man, but not a bad one. Yeah. 
No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> habla English? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Sí. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? <laughs> What are you doing here, Gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to... Spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land. Any further unpleasantries? Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, holy Ringo, I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> <laughs> can I see the boots, Gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> Good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into this civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <sighs> A socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things. Most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home? A man who handles a gun as sloppy as you? I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come, Come with me. me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful.
Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a... with Americans on the run. Mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Well done. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. The birds around here are always raising hell. Scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Sir, you've been taught well. I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. I would have thought an old goat like me would have been long forgotten by now. I heard many a story when I was a boy. Still do sometimes. What, these days? I find that hard to believe. What do people say? Oh, you know how them conversations go. Fellers arguing over who's the toughest, who's the fastest, and who shot people in the back. I place good money on me still being the fastest. Is that so, old man? I spent my life proving people wrong, partner. Senor Ricketts, Senor Ricketts, por favor, Senor. Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. Come on, these people need me. ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. There they are. Follow me. Yeah. Please, Senor, I will save you. 
Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. What have you got? 